Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got a quick knife unboxing and first impressions video. Um, I just took this out of the, the mailing package, save a little bit of time. I haven't gotten into the box yet. But yeah, this unbox this real steel G5 Metamorph Tanto. This is a Blade HQ ex exclusive. Um, Price on this was $39.99, so 40 bucks. And I've always wanted a metamorph. And um, there's one particular model or version I wanted. And um, when I finally, I almost bought it several times and then it, you know, went out of stock. And I just happened across a YouTube video on this one. And I decided to, to get it. But yeah, let's open this thing up. Nice box. I like the box. Very nice. Um, got this little foam thing. Got a... What's all this? This looks interesting. All kinds of stuff in here. Looks like you got a whole schematic. You know, drawing of the entire knife. Every little piece goes together. Um, guess I have it upside down. Let's try it this way. Yeah. I see. Got cage bearings and a washer for the pivot. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. And the back. Oh, they got a bunch of other knives. Some of these look pretty nice. There's the front flipper metamorph G5, G10. Yeah. Look at this one. Real slim. That's interesting. I think I seen that on a someone reviewed that one time. Yeah. Luna. I've seen videos on a Luna. It looks like a good knife, but yeah. How's this thing even fold up? Get that out of the way. This. Welcome. Thanks for choosing. Each real steel knife comes along with a razor sharp edge. Right here's some of the specs. Hold it up. Take a screenshot or pause it if you want to see them. I'll go over some of the specs I have them written down off from Blade HQ. So yeah, the nice sits inside that foam. Wrapped up in a nice, nice feeling microfiber cloth. Unroll it, get all this stuff out of the way. Let's check this thing out. So yeah. Real slender knife. Actually feels pretty light. Um, G10. I like the G10. Texturing right here along the middle is, is um, pretty nice feeling. It's not overly, you know, aggressive. Overly grippy. But up here on the chamfer parts. It's a little more rough. You can see the how it's milled. That's nice. Got a G10 backspacer that goes, I don't know, three quarters of the back of the knife. A couple of cutouts right there. Got a hidden, hidden lanyard post. I love that. I like when they do that instead of having a hole through it. Um, deep carry pocket clip. It is right hand tip up only. Pocket clip is is cut, you know, recessed down in the scale. But you know, they put a they put two round head screws on there. Why not? Why not flat heads? Even if the flat heads stick up a little bit, it'd be better than this. So I don't know why why you know companies still do that, but other than that, it's a nice, thin, short pocket clip. 
feels like it's got good retention and it sits on the smoother part of the G10 so that's good if the whole the whole scale is done like the sides here oh my that'd be a pocket destroyer but yeah flipper tab got a little jimping on on the tab not too bad so let's open this thing up wow that fires right out that's nice um yeah i got i saw the tanto blade version of this and i'm like yeah that's cool and i debated a little bit they do have a blacked out version and um I almost got it, but I decided to go with a satin finish. I think, oh, I just, I like that. This is hollow ground along the, the straight edge. The tip is flat ground. Got a nice swedge on top. There's a real steel branding right there. And the back, you have Post up hell design. First one of those I've had. And this is 14C28N. I like that steel. I have several knives in 14C28N. And um, they're doing good for me. Yeah. Boy. You're getting for a slender, basically straight handle, very neutral, you know, grip. Fits my hand pretty, pretty good. The jipping up here could be a lot more aggressive for my taste. But almost, to me, I barely even feel it. But that's okay. Man, does not feel bad in my hand. This pocket clip, I don't even feel it. I feel, that's, that's excellent. It falls right in the crease of my palm back here. Don't even feel that. I don't feel the tip. Um, yeah, that was a longer one. That tip might bother me, but yeah, it, it doesn't bother. I don't hardly even feel that, to tell you the truth. That's nice. Nice, and you know, I can, I can be picky about pocket clips, how they feel in my hand. So yeah, the only thing I, I'm seeing so far is the screws to the pocket clip. Um, see how they go in my cargo shorts real fast. Well, no issue. No issue with these pants. There are pockets on these shorts. Slides in and out pretty good. Um, jeans, I don't know. I have... I have um knife that I absolutely love, but the pocket clip's done like that, and I don't carry it very often. But yeah, I guess we'll go do some size comparisons. I have a bunch of knives, and then um, go to the specs and stuff and tell you more of what I think of it, more I look at it. But yeah, so the first one, let's size it up against a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Pretty close. Um, the PM2 is longer over overall. The blade is longer on the metamorph, but the handle handle is longer on the PM2. How about now let's get that out of the way. How about the Benchmade Griptilian? They're pretty close. Let's um. Let me put my mat down with the lines. And we can line pivot to pivot and might be able to tell a little, a little better. But yeah, very close. Um, the metamorph might be just a just a hair longer than the griptilian. Obviously the griptilian is a lot, a lot taller, a lot fatter. But yeah, so obviously it's going to be quite a bit bigger than the bug out how about the cjrb centros 
Centros is quite a bit longer, a little taller. Um, this is the one I mentioned, pocket clip. I love this knife. Centros is a great knife. Um, you know, it's a Dylan Mallory design, but it's ruined. Base. It, I don't carry it because of this pocket clip. You can see the screw, the pocket clips net recessed, the screws or round, round head screws net recessed. Um, there's obviously one good thing at a metamorph is a lot more room in there. But yeah, I can get this over my, you know, like pair of shorts, cargo shorts, but jeans, it turns into a carry like that. But yeah, anyways. That's why I was talking about the pocket clip. Um, let's do a couple. Let's do this out. This is an odd one to use for for a size comparison. A Tucson TS-169. This is 14C28N also. And um, it doesn't want to stand, so I'll hold it. The two signs a little bit longer. Um, this is an awesome knife. One I won from Neves Knives. Now, the action on this is almost hydraulic. It just kind of slowly takes itself down. And I noticed it's pretty, pretty similar, similar to this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Um, how about the Civivi Imperium? Another kind of thinner, long knife. And the Metamorph. Yep, blade's longer on the Metamorph and the handle's longer. How about the other Civivi I have? Um... The, the X art. I like how the some of these. I like how the blade goes down in the handle, like like the metamorph. Yeah, another straight, more straight handled, thin knife. Obviously, that's that's quite a bit shorter. Uh, how about a couple of CRKTs? Have to. Compare it to the CEO, which does not stand up either. And how about the Ruger CRKT LCK? Pretty nice budget knife. Another, another knife I won in a giveaway from um, Logan. But yeah, the Metamorph is definitely longer than either of those. And for kind of straight, slender knives, probably my favorite is the Finch Cimarron. So let's compare these two. The, the Metamorph's definitely quite a bit longer. Yeah, this is 14C 28 inch steel also. So yeah, I have several knives with 14C 28 n I like it. I think it's a great budget steel. And, um, it's, it's working, they're all working out great for me. So, yeah, that's, that's the size comparisons. Got a pretty long knife, three and a half inches. But, yeah, go over the specs real fast. Overall length is 8.5 inches. The blade, like I just mentioned, is three and a half inches. The blade height is 0 0.75, three quarters of an inch. The blade stock is about 0 0.12. We can measure it real quick to check. Um, because I don't believe the weight. What they have the weight listed. Yeah, I got 0 0.12. Right on the dot. But I don't think the weight's right. It does not feel like it weighs as much as they say. Um, handle length is 4.5 inches. Handle height, probably probably right here at the 
Thickness part is 0 0.88. Handle thickness is about half an inch. And yeah, they, they have the weight listed at 3.26. I don't think this is over over um three in, three ounces. I almost said three inches. So that's nine ounces. Yeah, I got two and a half ounces, two point five one. Um that would be seventy one point two grams. I mean compare weights. That's two point six one. Yeah. They are pretty close. Finch three point oh nine. Yeah, it, the Finch feels a little heavier. And you're talking. What are we, what are we talking? They got a two point or three point two six. I got so that's three quarters of an ounce. Um, it's funny, you know. It's only three quarters of an ounce, but you can sometimes tell the difference. Tell that, you know. A lot of times I don't think it matters, but sometimes you can feel that half ounce or three quarters of an ounce. Call me crazy, but that's the way that's the way I think of it. But yeah, what else about this thing? Um, I think I think overall fit and finish on this is pretty good. Um, no sharp edges on the inner inner edges of the G10. Um, lock the liner lock bar got good access to it it is real easy to, easy to push over there's jimping on it which the jimping is kind of kind of aggressive it's not bad um, I wish that jimping was up on top because this this doesn't do too much if the, the jimping on top was cut like the jimping on the lock bar or the the liner lock, yeah, that'd be a lot better for me. Um, I I I just I like more aggressive jimping because <clears throat> of the issues I have with my my hand my hand and my my fingers. Yeah, I really I really don't heart barely feel that, but. Anyways, got jumping on the flipper tab. It's not too bad. That could be more aggressive for my taste, but yeah, the flipper tab works good. It's kind of, you're not going to push button that, which I don't normally do push button. I do light switch, but that's kind of, kind of light switch deployment for me works great can you even fail it man that detent once you break that detent there's nothing but opening it's kind of kind of stiff detent i like it um yeah i think detent's about about perfect the way i like it but some people might say it's a little heavy. I think it's good. But yeah. I, I like the satin finish on this blade. I like the angles of it. The tanto tip is slightly, slightly rounded. Um, like I said, it's hollow ground along the straight edge flat up here um hopefully i don't like screw this all up when i when i do end up sharpening this but this thing feels feels really sharp or really thin behind the edge i don't know what it is we could try to measure it but take a while Let's see if it oh yeah Oops, get a fresh edge. 
Yeah, that, that cuts paper nice. But yeah, um, guess that's it. Just a quick unboxing, my first impressions video on this. I think it's my first impression is this is pretty nice for forty bucks. You get fourteen C twenty eight N steel. You know, it's an old step hell design. Nice G ten scales. Great action, man. You know, halfway decent deep carry pocket clip. Other than the screws, I think this pocket clip is pretty nice. It's small, thin. Now the blackout version, you know, it's got a black clip. That'd be a lot more discreet in, in your pants probably. But yeah, I got the satin one. Thought it looked looked cool. You can definitely, I think, you can pick up the all the angles of the blade, all the grinds of the blade and the light butter i think that's that's pretty cool but yeah i guess that's it um i'll probably i'm going to carry this obviously and um i'll come i'll do a full review on this eventually because i think you'll deserve it after i use it and yeah you know as usual all the other user stuff like comment subscribe and i guess till the next video bye